Bonjour à tous, c'est Erwan, on est sur Warm TV. Aujourd'hui, on est dans les locaux de Warner et on est avec Pac Parsonstrom from Sabaton. Hello. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Uh, very well, very well, thank you very much. Uh, feels great to be here. Uh, feels great to be here in this lovely day in Paris. In Paris. Yeah, we're okay. Yeah, we are a bit inside, but it was lovely. We know it's shiny. We were outside walking a little bit and having a a bit to eat just before this. So I have seen how beautiful it is outside. Okay, we're here to talk about your ninth album, The Great War. Yeah, will be released in 19th July. You started recording the 11th November 2018. You choose especially this date because this album is talking mostly about. Um, it, it's a little bit uh, twisted. This, yeah. Well, okay. We didn't choose the exact date because of this, uh, because uh, when you book a studio, mm -hmm. like uh, of a professional level, you have to book the studio very far in advance, like one and a half year in advance. And uh, one and a half year in advance, we did not exactly know the topic of the new album. Okay. So we just booked it. Okay, we're gonna start in November 20, uh, 2018. That's when we're gonna start recording the next album. We knew it already. And um, but last summer we were sitting down and discussing. We need to come up now with the topic mm. of the new album. And uh, me and the singer Joachim, we were sitting and uh, discussing the different ideas we had. And then we said, okay, but maybe it's time to do do the topic of World War One because we will kind of. Be per be, we be time time wise perfect to the 100 years anniversary of Armistice Day, mm -hmm. and um, that's uh, we, we thought oh, that's a nice little angle to it. We have done World War One stuff in the past; people like it, and yeah, let's let's do it. And then uh, uh, at the same time, I also contacted uh, Indy, who is now the host of the Sabaton History Channel. Mm -hmm. And um, I asked him if he wanted to be the uh, consultant for the new album, because he's an expert at World War One. And he said, yeah, sure, I want to be. And at the same time, we started to develop the idea of our Sabaton History Channel. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for those who don't know, you got a YouTube channel uh, specialized in history, in war yeah. history. Yeah. Uh, so you made uh, uh, a joinment between this, uh, this album and, uh, and this channel. Yeah, the uh, the whole idea about this channel there mm -hmm. is, I mean, Sabaton uh, are writing songs about military history, battles and uh, soldiers and uh, in general uh, stories uh, from war. And uh, most people don't really understand what, what, what the songs are about, because in the song we have let's say uh, two, three, four, five minutes of, uh, of uh, text, that's mm -hmm. uh, of the lyrics, that's all we can put in there. But, um, so we can only say so little words, like to scratch the surface, but with the Sabaton History Channel, we can properly teach people about the events that made us mm -hmm. write the song. You, you, as I don't know, the only band existing, we want to learn and to teach stuff to people by music so that's why you open this youtube channel uh, where does this uh, this need c is coming from where does this need come from i mean okay so in the first in 2005 when we made primo victoria which is our first album people were still buying cds <laughs> and inside of the uh, cd um we put some notes, we wrote a little bit. Next to the lyrics, we wrote some stories. This song is about this. Mm -hmm. And fans said, wow, without these words, we wouldn't know. And already then, me and Joachim were discussing, how can we develop this? How can we go? And the furthest we could go would basically probably to do a movie about each song, which would be impossible. But to do a documentary, we said, that would be great. Over the years, the idea has been growing and growing, but it requires a lot of people, a lot of resources and a good, mm -hmm. um, a good uh, format of doing it. Now, we have all of that. I mean, on the Sabaton History Channel, there are three historians working on it. Indiana, who is the front person of it, but there are two people in the background mm -hmm. working with the research and, uh, and scripting also for it. So, it is a, it's a big thing that we are working on. And, um, 
but it's extremely exciting for us to do mm-hmm. and uh, challenging but um, we like it I mean there, there's been um, people ask sometimes what is the purpose behind this and we say well it's just to make people understand what the songs are about and uh, when there was this um, uh, different networks and different uh, um, different medias yes service providers or or, mm-hmm. or whatever they are called uh, who are approaching us and they were like yeah we can we can release your Sabaton history channel in our network I was like no the whole idea about this is to have it free for everybody it's on YouTube so people can everybody it's not only for the subscribers of this service or that service mm-hmm. but on YouTube we're not even only for the only purchaser of the album yeah mm-hmm. that was the idea so we come back to this album, The Great War. Uh, you choose eleven songs. Which one? Each one, sorry, is s- like relating a different story, uh, a, a kind of an episode during all this. Uh, how did you choose those es- the episodes specifically? There, there are so much. There is so much to to sing about. I mean, four years of history, but so many different events happening. And uh, there were many of them which we really wanted to sing about, but we can't fit them in. The songwriting process is something similar to this, that we we decide upon a topic. Mm -hmm. Like, we're gonna do the Great War. Then after that, we start to gather some topics. Meanwhile, we are writing the music. And uh, at the end of music writing, just before we go to the studio pretty much, we have the different songs and we have a huge list of topics that all would somehow fit in. And then we listen to the demo versions of the songs and like this song requires a topic which is something like moody or happy or sad or... And then we try to to match them, to pair them. and. Um, there will always be a lot of topics leftovers which we have to archive for the future. Hmm. But you happen to a large uh, views uh, and many interesting angles in uh, the way you treat them. I'm thinking particularly for uh, the, the first song, which is talking about the fact that this w- first war, this, this world war, uh, was um, uh, a, a I, I don't know how to say it, uh, a, a real change in, in modern war uh, involving industries and it changes everything. Yes, it, it did. Uh, world War II is often more spoken about than World War I mm-hmm. because during World War II uh, it's more captured in popular media, in popular, popular culture, games, movies, TV series. The, this kind of stuff uh, but World War One has a more significant importance especially for the European for Europe and the world that we live in the borders that we see today a lot of them were created during this time or in the aftermath of it so while well basically World War Two didn't change that equally much of, mm-hmm. of many places so we, we thought it just it's a strong topic and uh, a lot of stories to tell within. Mm-hmm. You also choose to talk about uh, guys coming from Tennessee, uh, which is called the Gust in the song. Uh, where does the story come from and why this particular man? Um, I mean, we, we sing about people from all nations who joined mm-hmm. the, the war and um, they, they obviously came from from far away but shared the fate in the in the battlefields so Sabaton has never really been one band that focuses on one side we we like to tell from several sides the stories so that's why we we take the stories from around the world it, it makes it a real real interesting album because uh, uh, there's this um, when, when you stop listening to it, you're in a way in a need of understanding. That's how I, I received it. I, I suppose so. I mean, there, there are 
there are more things to do with it and it's what I want Sabaton to be I want Sabaton to be a heavy metal band yes and also I want it to be a little bit of teachers and create interests and lead to further stories to to sort of that people can discover layers of the band mm -hmm. From the beginning of the history of Sabaton, uh, you choose to talk about past wars and uh, events from the past. Uh, will you choose one day to talk about wars today? Not really. They are not historical. They are mm -hmm. political. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, we don't want to be involved in that um, so we, we we have said we are a historical band and we will mm -hmm. sing about what is history uh, the events that is happening today in the world it's a big po possibility we could talk about them in 20 years uh, and hopefully we talk about them from a peaceful perspective now mm -hmm. okay so you released the first clip for this album on the May 5 uh, will we have any other release before July? Uh, yeah, we have scheduled a couple of releases the mm -hmm. coming weeks and uh, um, there will be coming out more songs and, and we will also work with the, the Sabaton History Channel to explain more about the stories behind the songs even before they are out. Um, so. I, it's a little bit evil maybe for some people that we talk about what is the story behind the song before they can hear it but uh, uh, but I think it will it will increase the the, the value of the yeah, way sure sure uh, I think I'll spend a, a lot of time uh, on this <laughs> new channel I discovered by the yeah. album ah nice well thanks a lot for your time thank you we hope you enjoy our questions and uh, sure. the time you spend with us of course <laughs> and we hope to see you in France in gigs really really soon yeah it's not so long uh, long it's not so far away until we come to mm -hmm. Hellfest yeah we'll be there for sure thank and you. maybe in some of the places in France we'll be happy for that too I, I forgot or uh, merci It's good, it's good. Uh, I have a tradition, uh, I'm used to ask the same question to everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, if I offer you right now a ticket to travel in time and go to meet yourself aged 10, what advice would you give yourself? To not change. Um, I think I've always had a vision uh, that represents me today. Uh, I always wanted something more. If somebody would build something or create something or draw something, I wanted to do something bigger. I was very ambitious already a small person and I think it has reflected also in the band. I want to take it bigger, I want to make it more ambitious than most other people are. So, And uh, advice to give to 10 year old me that Okay, go on. Don't let people tell you what you cannot do, because you can do it. Great. So, this is the end word. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you.